Lady, she's going to grace us with all of her plant <laughs> knowledge. I love the color of this plant. Um, this viewer says, what is eating my petals? It sounds like some of their critter likes it too. Okay, so that is a bougainvillea, and people love them because they are sort of tropical. You could grow them down in SoCal just fine up here. They can freeze, but if they're in a good spot, they look beautiful. And that actually, so it looks like it's eating the petals, but those aren't petals. Those are actually modified leaves acting as petals. Oh. The, the petals are from those little yellow inserts in between the, the brightly colored bracts, which you call the modified petals. So what's eating them are these cutter bees, and they're bees that actually just cut almost perfect circles out of your leaves. And since that is a leaf, it's normal for it to eat it. They're harmless. They come and they go, and your plant is fine. They don't transmit any viruses to your plant, so just let them go. And I always like looking at them because I'm like, they cut such perfect holes out of the leaves. It's actually sort of cute. It looks kind of like a little hole punch. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this question says the stems on my orchid are turning brown. Should I cut the stem to replant the leaves? All right, another Phalaenopsis orchid question. I get these a lot because people want to grow these and they can be frustrating. In this case, you're doing well. So what happened is that was the flower stalk. The flowers died off, and normally when the flowers die off, let the stalk turn brown and then cut it off. But what can happen to orchids is they can produce a propagule, which basically is another plant. So yes, cut that at below the stem, and those are aerial roots coming off, and then plant that up in bark, and you have two plants. So when you cut your orchids, you always want to disinfect your pruners because they're very sensitive sensitive to viruses, so just a 10% solution of bleach and water will work. So cut that off, put it in bark, water it in, and grow it just like your other, other plant. Okay, this question has to do with the lilies. It says it never bloomed and always looks like it's dead. What's going on? Okay, so in fact, it did bloom. Maybe it had some um, buds and they didn't open up, but I could actually see remnants of it up there. So sometimes what happens to these is they bloom. If it's a hot day or a windy day, they'll disappear. So it's possible you went to work, it opened up, and then by the time you got home, it, it looked like it hadn't bloomed. But in fact, it did. And they do better with a little bit of shade. If they're in full afternoon sun, they'll always look a little horrific. This time of year, they are dying down. They're a bulb. And after it flowered in fall, their foliage is going to start dying down. So it's a little hard to tell if that's just the normal way, but also they are sensitive to more uh, alkaline conditions. So I would sort of add some peat moss on top, some soil sulfur, look for some pests, put a white sheet of paper underneath and tap it because during the growing season, they can get thrips or even spider mites, but I have a feeling it's the heat. If you can, dig that dormant bulb up and move it so it's in a little, little bit shadier spot. If it's getting afternoon sun, just give it morning sun. Okay, one more question. Okay. It says, my cactus has white spots uh, that have a reddish black fluid. When you smash them, is this mealy bugs, and how do I get rid of them? Yes, it is, and I'm glad you did the smash test, because sometimes what happens is we have natural predators of these insects out and about, and people will go and they'll spray their plant, and in fact, they're actually dead, or the wind Winter cold could kill some of them off. So yes, you always want to squish them, and it's that red, black juice coming out. That is their guts. But if they were dry, then I would say, hey, they're fine. So what I would do since, well, it's a little tricky on this plant because it has the spines on it. But when it cools down, you can spray a soap spray or a neem oil. You want to be careful on cacti and succulents because the neem oil, when it gets sun on any plant, it could burn, but especially on succulents. So if possible, you could just wipe them with a paper towel, um, spray them with soap spray or neem oil, and um, or just let natural predators come if there's not so many of them. And at home, what I've been doing on my orchids is a Q-tip with a rubbing alcohol and wiping them off in the little cracks and crevices. All right, that's how you get a hold of Marlene when she's not on our show. Facebook is a great way. Now, when you mm -hmm. type it in, make sure you keep it all one word just like that. It's easy to find her that way. Okay, Marlene, the plant lady. You also have time to get in your plant related questions. The plant lady at KMAXTV.com. Poor Marlene, she's forever known as the plant lady. <laughs> <laughs>